My name is Deku Mandavia. I'm a practicing emergency physician and the chief medical officer for Cerebell. One of the things that's important to recognize what's happened over the last 10 to 15 years is significant advances along a, a lot of different important clinical problems, such as stroke care, trauma care, myocardial infarction, STEMI, cardiac arrest care, and sepsis care. Non-invasive monitoring is completely the standard of care. We have non-invasive monitoring for vital signs, for cardiac rhythm, for oxygenation, for ventilation, and for hemodynamics. So brain monitoring is conspicuously absent in the care of these critically ill patients until now. So classically, how do you measure or how do you evaluate brain function? It's with a physical exam. Ask the patient to do certain commands or check the level of consciousness. It's a very tedious process. It can be unreliable. It's often inconsistent. It requires a patient really to be on a constant observation, which is really not that practical either. And in certain cases, it's completely impossible because the patient's intubated on a ventilator and paralyzed. There's been no real objective or continuous assessment of this neurological function until now. Cerebell is a medical device company with a primary mission of improving neurological care for emergency and ICU patients. Cerebell has developed the world's first non-invasive brain monitor, incorporating both AI and cloud-based computing. They've created a new category uh, that's been designed for point-of-care clinicians. They have miniaturized EEG technology, easy to apply and use, that provides rapid clinical answers at the bedside. Furthermore, the ordering physician does not need to know how to read an EEG because the AI algorithm will provide bedside risk stratification for you. So now this rapid EEG technology can be brought to frontline emergency and critical care doctors. And the first cerebral application is the rapid detection of seizures. There are three categories of applications. Number one is altered mental status with a high risk condition for non-convulsive status epilepticus. Number two is cardiac arrest, which will return to spontaneous circulation. And number three is patient with seizures and the assessment of that clinical condition. Cerebell has significant advantages. You have improved diagnostic certainty and improved risk stratification, earlier diagnosis and treatment, decreased morbidity and mortality, quicker disposition to the right location, decreased length of stay with an overall reduced cost of care, and enhanced compliance with clinical guidelines. If you've not yet seen much about the device, I recommend you go to our homepage at www.cerebell.com.